so even to some of the new renovated villas at Disney Vacation Club properties. And we're seeing some changes there with Murphy beds. What do you think about these? What do I think about these? Should the more traditional timeshares install more Murphy beds? Let's talk about it right after this. Hello and welcome to Destination Timeshare. I'm Jeremy. We're gonna jump right into today's video. We've actually been to a few Disney Vacation Club properties where they've had Murphy beds. The one main one, the famous one, is the Tower Studio at the Disney Vacation Club Riviera Resort. This is essentially where you have a sofa and then you pull the wall down almost essentially and it turns into a Murphy bed with essentially a good size, whether it be king or queen size mattress. Essentially a full size mattress, full thickness. You don't have any box springs of course, but it is much more comfortable than kind of the traditional pull out sofa bed that they put in most of the timeshares we own. We own Marriott Vacation Club, we own Vistana, We've also stayed in Wyndham and Hyatt, and they all seem to put in these sofas that pull out into a sofa bed. Really not all that ideal. Essentially the mattress is only maybe only a few inches thick, not really all that comfortable, and I really don't like to put people in there. So if we have a number of people staying with us at a timeshare resort, we try to make sure that everybody at least has a bed. And whenever I give advice to people about booking a timeshare, say they have eight people, that they wanna try and stay in a two bedroom, I usually try and recommend push them towards booking two two bedrooms because it just gives everybody much more room to spread out. Nobody has to stay or sleep in a sofa bed, hopefully. So the one thing I'm kind of wondering is, should the Marriott's, the Vistana's, the Wyndham's, the Hyatt's, should they maybe install these two when they do another round of renovations? Obviously, this might be a little bit more expensive and owners, of course, are gonna to have to pay for these. But just kind of wondering, what your thoughts are. I'm kind of thinking I like the idea. It gives people an option to where the bed essentially folds up and folds down really quickly. Kind of the annoying thing about a sofa bed is you pull it out and essentially nobody else can use the sofa at that time. And obviously a Murphy bed's the same way, but a Murphy bed just quickly folds up into the wall. Whereas with a sofa, you have pillows everywhere, you have cushions everywhere. This bed is pulled out. You have to kind of make it a little bit and then fold it up and then put all the cushions back on. Whereas with a Murphy bed that just folds down from the wall, you essentially kind of just make the bed and fold it back up really quick, really easy to get it out of the way. I'm kind of thinking that I like that. So I just kind of want to know your thoughts. Let me know about them in the comments below. We can have a great discussion about the thought of should more timeshares switch over to Murphy beds. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Just a quick one today. And if you want to see more videos about timeshare, check out the description box below for another video. We'll give you a timeshare commentary video about how I am not very happy that Marriott Vacation Club is doing away with the uh, resort specific caps you can buy in the marketplace. Check out this video right up here and YouTube. They think you'll like that video down there. Be sure to subscribe. You can do so by clicking on my picture right here. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, the best memories are made in a timeshare.